that thou hast her. It is not all my grief, and yet it may be said I loved her dearly, that she hath thee is of my wailing chief a loss in love that touches me more nearly. Loving offenders. Thus will I excuse thee. Thou dost love her because thou knowest I love her. And for my sake, even so, doth she abuse me, suffering my friend for my sake to approve her. If I lose thee, my loss is my love's gain. And losing her, my friend hath found that loss. <laughs> Both find each other. I love both, twain, and both, for my sake, lay me on this cross. <laughs> but here's the joy. My friend and I are one. Oh, sweet flattery. Then she loves but me alone. I was sonnet number 42. Wow, that was a year of sonnets. It feels like it much less than that. Um, yeah, that flew right by. Uh, yeah, that uh, this is a cool little. So this concludes kind of the. Uh, it's a trilogy of these sonnets about um, the fair youth betraying Shakespeare with his mistress. Which the more I the the this being the third kind of go round with this subject matter, it it only works in my head if it was the kind of thing where he was in love with like for me I find it relatable to put myself in the shoes of someone who is in love with someone and then that person cheats on them with a good friend or like there is a betrayal in some way between those parties, um, but it's man is this like. A self-absorbed, selfish little trilogy. Like, it was interesting because when I was uh, when I was uh, uh, reading the sonnet over, uh, you know, through a few times, um, the, the the words that stuck out to me at first were loss and love, and talking about you know, what he's losing and and uh, you know the love that he's losing with the love that is now being shared by these other two people who he cares about so he's kind of lo loving vicariously and but then the more i said it out loud the words it's way more it's my 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 sake my this my that like shut up shakespeare oh my god um and again it's it's something that was uh, a, a common thread through the previous two uh sonnets in this trilogy is that he doesn't ever talk you don't know what the circumstances are with these other two people like are they in love i mean, I mean it's you know that much. You know that they're in love, but is this a choice that they've made because of them trying to find happiness? Was there infidelity on one or both parts? Was there, you know, what was what was public? What was, what, you know, was there, was there an agreement of, um, uh, was there an agreement of, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 exclusive, you know, I'm in a relationship with this person. You don't know any of that. You just know that he loves these two people and one of these people you know very little about. I don't, I don't think there's been much in the sonnets thus far about his mistress. And, and the other one, the fair youth, it, he's just talking about how hot he is. And it's, so what's there, Shakespeare? What's of substance there? Um, all that aside, I think that the, the, the language and the structure is so more than that. It's so more than whatever, whatever was actually going on, which I guess we can't be sure of, so maybe it's not this petty, weird shit. Um, it's so beautifully crafted. The last word in the sonnet is alone. And, uh, as I was going through it, I counted up how many times loss and love show up. And love showed up, at least when I counted, one more time than loss. So I counted six of loss or lose, I, six instances of loss and seven of love. And so, you know. 
what can we read into there regarding you know is there is he saying something about the 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 love of the world is a constant quantity kind of thing or is it you know that while he could because in reality you know mathematically he is the one suffering and these two people are now happy you know conceivably and so that should trump one person's loss because two people are happy right is that how happiness works kind of so so those were interesting things to think about but but man it it is so jilting and and uh uh, uh like not not um not schizophrenic but like he he jumps around thought wise throughout this sonnet and it's reflected in the language but it all comes back to him me my my me and it's oh man Ugh. um so it, it, it yeah so this it this reads young this reads inexperienced this reads um selfish um which is interesting because it s sounds so beautiful so uh uh yeah uh i'm not on your team after this sonnet shakespeare and like in terms of like your life choices but you write pretty words um no this is a, a you know for for the the disgust it makes me feel it I, it was an extremely fun sonnet to 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 memorize performance it's it's the the chewiness of the words and the it, is, it was just great so um that's a pretty good one to go out on for uh for 2017 um i think i want to keep doing this um I mean, yeah, I'm, so I, I think I'm going to keep doing this. I, I'm going to try to, I'm thinking about, for 2018, um, doing, trying to read or, v, I think, see. I'm going to try to find, uh, like, BBC or other film versions of, of Shakespeare plays that I haven't read. But what, I, I mean, what, I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to just go in order through the canon. Um, so I've there's some that some some plays that I'm a little more familiar with some that I have not read or seen at all but um, what I'm thinking of doing is each month I'm gonna try to find uh, a version of one of his plays and and see it or read it and then at the end of that month instead of doing a sonnet I'll do a monologue that I find um, uh, resonates with me from that piece so um, yeah, so so, that, so I think that's that'll be the plan for for January. I'm gonna start at the beginning. I'm gonna do Two Gentlemen of Verona. I think that's the first one, um, and uh, so I think I think I found a BBC, uh, uh, not a BBC, uh, 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 a Globe Theater uh, filmed uh, production um, that uh, I think I saw on Amazon. That I, I I'm I'm gonna that I know that one's not got a heck of a lot in terms of you know definitive versions so i think that's what i'm going to do and then uh and so but i'll, I'll do sonnet 43 44 and 45 for the first three weeks of january and then i'll do a, a two gents thing at the end of january um and so so i think i'm going to do it that way with doing uh, a monologue from a play at the end of every month even so some months we'll have five weeks um so I'll have four sonnets and a, and a monologue, and some will only have three three sonnets and a monologue. But it, I mean, I, the the fact that I'm 42 in, and there's 150 something is, uh, I'm shocked and amazed that I've been able to keep this up. So, uh, yeah, this is really fun. Um, looking forward to doing this more in 2018. So happy New Year.